Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out more awesome creations that you guys have made for me on the Steam Workshop. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first creation we have is this one. The R1 for Yuzi by LittleCloud77. Made a Delta Wing that I thought of fly well. Alright, pretty simple description. Let's check it out. Ooh, so as I can tell so far, it is a uh, odd seat creation. So it's got the motorcycle seat there. Detachable blocks because I'm guessing that's zero drag. And so far, the looks of this thing look pretty nice. I like the color scheme you've gone for, like the flag. Very nice. I should probably spawn this on the aircraft carrier, though. <laughs> All right, let's get flying. I believe it's space to go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at those flames coming out the back there. I like that. This thing actually flies really well. What? Do I have your controls? I do. <laughs> Almost like it drifts in the air. What? Like, watch this. This is your controls? That is very powerful, your controls. Holy. It must be gyro steering or something like that. That's insane. I mean, the speed is insane as well. Can we fly through this? Uh... Whoa. Oh, I broke it. Okay, here we go. I just air repair. We're fine. Flying this thing, it's like the faster I go, the harder it is to turn or pitch even. Like you can really feel like the drag on it. But if I slow down, you can see that my turn circle just becomes instant. <laughs> but other than that, it flies really well, like very good. I can definitely see myself using something like this in a dogfight. I don't think I've ever heard of an aircraft called an R1, so this must be from this person's imagination. This must be a made-up build, just inspired by Delta Wings. Probably a Eurofighter Typhoon because it has those canards there. But yeah, this thing flies super cool. Alright, this is the main part of the test though. Can I fly it through the aircraft carrier? Uh-oh, uh-oh, my approach. My approach isn't... Oh! Whoa, no way. <laughs> With that slight yaw controls, I was able to adjust there and fly straight through there. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I thought I'd crash. Okay, can we land it though? Landing is different. Landing without breaking a single piece. Okay, easy. We have so much lift. Oh no, I'm going to miss the carrier. All right, well, maybe I could do an amazing stunt with this aircraft, but not land it, clearly. Well, Little Cloud 77 thank you for that awesome creation. Up next, we have an F4 Phantom by the guy 2635X, a maneuverable jet with good weaponry. Now, the F4 Phantom is a real jet, so this is a real jet this time. Uh, all the controls are on there. Uh, we have your controls, thrust, we have a minigun, rockets are on T. I got landing gear with G and then Y for flaps. Interesting. Oh, it is tiny. It is a lot smaller than the last creation. So this is what it looks like spawned in. You can see what actually gets piston glitched. So the seat here, some lift in the wings, I guess. And then the back of the top of the tail. Okay, that went together pretty well. It is gyro control since I'm able to rotate whilst I'm on the carrier. Ooh, this thrusters in the fuel tanks. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I just noticed that right now. All right, let's give this a test. Let's fly. You know what, guys? That took off pretty well. This this one feels very evenly balanced. Let's get those landing gears in. Those go in quite nice. You can see the gyros underneath there. Oh, this feels awesome, actually. My yaw controls. The yaw controls are a little stiff. But I guess just because of the vertical stabilizer being so big. I also have flaps. I put the flaps on now. So uh, it should be pr providing a little bit of lift. A little bit more lift so it's easier to fly. The thing is, it's always about like how a plane flies. Yes, they may look really cool. Some of these creations look amazing. But sometimes the more amazing they look, the more of a downside it is to the function. So it is a balance between form and function. This one is a bit of both. This one is feeling very good to fly. And I love the design. Design. Definitely the camo choice you went for. All right, here we go. We're going through. It's like my favorite thing to do on this map. I don't know why. It's just so addicting to do. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I went through. I grazed the bottom of the floor there, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, we have rockets too. I forgot. What are, what are the rockets? Is it T? Yeah, there we go. Let's attack the mountain because we can. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Pull out, pull out. <laughs> That was close. Yeah, this feels awesome to fly. With the landing gear too, let's see if we can actually land this plane. All right, we got our flaps on. Landing gear is coming down. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and... Oh, no, I've already, I've already oversteered. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No brakes, no brakes. 
damn. Okay, well, <laughs> that's good enough, I guess. But yeah, amazing creation. This is definitely a practical one for dogfights. I feel like this could be a very durable because it's quite like a thick body, you know? It's got a thick fuselage, so I think this could be taking a lot of hits in a proper dogfight in this game. But let's see what we have next. So here we have the Cyrus Stingray. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Is it Cyrus? Cyrus? I don't know. But this one's by 04. It says keyboard controls. Hopefully Yuzi finds this. I have indeed. This is not an original design. I built and based this off a 3D render by the very talented at Vazu Devonser design on Instagram. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Dual seater multi-purpose stealth fighter rated for space combat and small target bombing runs. And there we have a bunch of controls. So it is for space. We are not in space right now though. This is what it looks like when we put it in the build mode. And yeah, I'm guessing all of this just disappears. Whoa, that fits together quite nicely. Kind of looks like a, uh, a B2 stealth. Is that the right aircraft? I should probably look that up. No, that was not the right aircraft. This actually looks more like the F117, the Nighthawk. But yeah, I can see how it looks like a Stingray. All right, space is to hover. Oh, okay. So far, pretty nice VTOL controls. Very smooth. Shift is to go forward. So what, if I let go of space, will it stop using the VTOL? And then I can just go forward. Okay. Remember, we are in gravity right now, and I don't think this is initially for gravity. But I guess it can do both, actually, because it's a VTOL, right? Oh, we got a shield with T. Q and E is your controls. I'm pressing G, but I have no idea what that, that's supposed to do. Oh, and I... <laughs> no, I accidentally pressed F. Oh, G is the flaps. Okay, smooth takeoff again. That's the shoot. I've got shield. Three is the rockets. X is for bomb. No, flares. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. I still need to, I still need to learn how to fly this thing. I will say the roll is very sensitive, like the roll is super like touchy. So you do need to be careful with that. And then Z is to drop those bombs. There we go. So just like a stealthy VTOL design, I guess. That's also a bomber, which is cool. Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? I feel like this will be easier to fly in zero Gs. But instead of changing maps to go to the space sector, thanks to some handy flashbulb engineering or game design, I should say, I can actually turn down the gravity. Now we are in zero Gs. Look at this thing hover. Oh, whoa, we, ha we have a lot of lift. We're still in atmosphere, so the lift is still applying. But it's way easier to fly now. Look at this thing go. Get a bombing run on the carrier flares well, i think i overshot the carrier but yeah i love the design of this so creative this is a lot easier in zero g's well i'm saying that as i'm about to crash <laughs> no but yeah i really like this vtol such a cool futuristic design it's space capable which is uh, you don't see that a, a lot with uh normal vtols i guess it's just an all-purpose spacecraft which is nice but yeah, thank you for that one, Zero Four. For our next creation, we're going to have to head over to the mainland because we have a drift car for Yuzi by Cloud. If you're Yuzi, thank you so much for checking out my car. Of course, dude, no problem. It says controls, movement, standard controls, drift mode is shift and powerful bricks of control. Let's pull it out. So this is a drift car for me. I've always wanted a drift car. This is cool. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm still in zero G's. There we go. Back down to earth. Okay, so yeah, we're driving. We're doing a, a good, a good strong 40 miles per hour, you know? There is a control for one, but I don't know what that's doing. I, I'm pressing it. Nothing's happening. Oh, very strong brakes of control there. Look at that. That's an instant stop. But I think we all want to see the drift mode. So let's go over here and I'm going to press the drift in three, two, one. Oh, it's like a booster. It's a booster that enables the drift. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Okay. All right. I, I think I can get used to this. Go on the off-road section here. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing donuts, right? That's drifting. Not bad. Not bad car. Oh, okay. I oversteered there. I know there's a select few players in this game that really enjoy making ground vehicles and drifting in general. 
I can see the appeal. This is quite fun. Like, obviously, I'm not doing so well, but I'm guessing some people have mastered their creations. But you know what? I'm happy doing donuts. Donuts are fine for me. <laughs> but in terms of design, I really enjoy it. It's very slick, very stealthy. Good, I like a good old stealthy design. This spoiler design too, making me feel like it's like a Batman car, you know? Very cool. But yeah, thank you, Cloud. That's an awesome creation. Okay, I think you guys know what's coming next due to this tiny little image here. So this is the A10 Thunderbolt 2 by the guy 2635X. Wait a minute. I have featured two of his creations today. That's how impressive they are. I didn't even know these were by the same guy. Okay, he says a stable and armed plane. Pretty similar controls, actually. So this will be easy to fly. Wow, okay. Well, guy, this is your lucky day. I'm featuring two of your builds. And I didn't even know it. It is a nice looking A10 though, guys. Can I just say? This is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Is that a tail hook? Yeah, ignore me flying into the, <laughs> the bridge there. I have noticed a tail hook. And I don't know how to pull that back in. Is that with G? Oh, that's with G. Okay. So he's got a tail hook. You know what? With a friction pad on that, though, I think that could actually be practical. But yeah, there goes the landing gear. Got flaps of Y. Oh, oh, wow. Did you see how that changed? I'm only holding space. Let go of the flaps. We're flying forward. Press the flaps again. That's a lot of flap power. <laughs> We got a smart cannon for the gun glitched into the the nose there i was expecting a burp though i was expecting some sound or tone generators but that's okay very smooth flying aircraft again like you said very stable checking out the yaw controls a little floaty but that's a good thing right you want to be maneuverable oh that was a close one yeah there they are i found them the rockets okay we can do a low flyby now and actually do some air to ground. What should we hit, guys? There's not really much targets. I'm going to see if I can hit, like, those fences down here. There they are. I see them. We're shooting rockets away. I hit them. I also hit the ground. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, we could still fly, right? I mean, actually, I'm surprised I'm still flying. All right, tunnel test. Can we survive the tunnel? This is going to be a new thing on the channel now. Tunnel test. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The approach was bad. Oh, don't. Oh, no. The wing. I saw that coming. Damn it. Well, fun creation. I really enjoyed it. You got to love an A10, you know? Okay, for our final creation, we need the complexity mod because it is a big one. We have the Yuzi's Destroyer Overdrive. So it looks like a fleet of destroyers. This one's by the Gamer Boy 64729 He said, this thing is hell. Complexity mod needed. Not gonna say the controls, so ha. Fair enough. I guess we gotta figure it out on our own. Okay, this hopefully this doesn't break my PC. 245 power cores used. It's still loading. I actually don't know how many blocks it is. Wait, let me turn off. I think that's spawned in now. So I set it to 3,000. Oh, it's only 1,368 complexity. Not bad for complexity. I've seen much bigger. I've seen creations in the 2000s. But here we are. It just looks like a fleet of boats. They're all connected on the top there. And we have this very nice looking destroyer in the middle. Oh my god. I didn't expect it to be that fast. It's almost flying. So there's a bionic propeller there. And we just have so many underwater props for speed to... Wow, look at us go. And we have firepower, of course. That is holy moly. So many miniguns. We have a horn. And we also have mortars. I don't know how you control those. Oh yeah, you control those with one and three, so we can use our mortars. This might be inspired by one of my old builds. I remember building one of these on a live stream with similar mortar design. Looks very familiar, you know? But yeah, we have mortar controls. Pretty cool. I want to actually see if I can launch them. There, all the way up. Nice. Oh, there they go. Nice. All right. A little bit upset that I can't aim the weapons up. I can only tilt them. I can only pivot them left and right, which is fine. Oh my god, we can destroy ourselves. Look at that. Holy moly. Oh my. But if it could aim up, you know, I'd have some very good anti-air defense. But this is a super speedy fleet, you know. We're going to put the intense waves on. 
Let's see if we can get some serious airtime. <laughs> do like a, a few skateboard tricks, you know? If I can do a 360, that'd be insane. No way we just did a 360. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's a, like a it's a very menacingly looking creation, but it's like super fun to use, you know, it's super silly to use. But yeah, we have checked out some awesome creations today. Definitely let me know which one was your favorite. And also, guys, if you want me to be checking out more creations that you have made for me, just upload them to the workshop and uh, make sure you put UZ in the title or in the description and I'll definitely be able to find them easier. Who knows? Maybe I'll feature your build on the channel next. And whilst you're on it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.